Good morning. 12 January, Thursday morning, 8.16 a.m. We're on the back road heading towards Casti. We're on our way to a longer pole. Going to the Philippine Statistics Authority office this morning, the PSA, to hopefully uh, get uh, Baby Sky's uh, birth certificate. Um, we went, what was it, about three or four weeks ago? Uh, to the municipality down there and they and they told us it'd be ready by the 12th of uh, January, so we're gonna see um, Drive down there and see then we got a Couple of stops to make we gotta load up the wallet and uh, Get some formula for baby sky. I was just informed we received the text from uh, Ricky the bulldozer guy and uh, Way out there Pay attention where you going? Koya, Koya Anyway, um, he did, I guess the message was something along the lines of uh, he's just going to wait before he comes back until we get the grass cut down so he can see what he's doing. So I guess his attempts at uh, obtaining some grass cutters were unsuccessful. So we're going to move forward. And once it's fully cut down, I'm going to reassess the land and see if uh, I really need to bring the bulldozer back or not. Uh, from what I've seen so far, couple of flat shovels and uh, a couple of guys we can just take out those mounds and some of the, the hilly areas and fill in the lower areas with shovels and um, in a day's effort and save myself five hours of 1500 pesos an hour so anyway uh, whatever's cost effective uh, that's what we're gonna pursue but again I'm gonna wait till they get all the grass cut and see so It'll, today's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm hoping uh, it'll be done by Saturday evening. Uh, but like I said, we still have two sides in the back to do. And they're finishing up the front this morning. So anyway, here's that little uh, picnic area over here in San Antonio. A little creek running there. I like that creek. Um, okay, so we'll just uh, add on as we make our way throughout the day. Ciao, bike. Good evening, folks. It's after four, Thursday, the 12th of January. Hallelujah. Um, remember that old saying, you know, about buying kids toys and don't play with them. Buy them, let them, buy them, you know, get them a box and they'll play all day. Well, there's that uh, white styrofoam again out here. There's one, two pieces here, and there's a couple of pieces in the backyard. After I told them specifically, do not play. But there they go. Got a field over here full of cows now. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six cows. Did I count right there in the video? Uh, look how sweet it is. Isn't that beautiful? So you can see where our trees are now. See where our trees are now. The kids playing in the dirt. EJ in the yellow. Sabrina walking to the bridge with the ball. And Lynn's working with the blue shirt. And I'm tripping over stuff. Well, I'm not watching where I'm going. Just doing a quick update. Hey, we spent uh, a better part of the morning along the boat. As you saw in the earlier video, we went to the Philippines Statistic Authority. Uh, Fortunately, I mean, it didn't take long to find it, even though uh, one of the roads, when I memorized the map, uh, there's a neighbor over there with his horse, when I memorized the map, uh, the main road, McSasai Road, uh, was uh, was blocked off, so we had to go in search of another route, and uh, we found it fairly easy. Um, anyway, I hear Jaja to the left of me somewhere. There she is. There's James, the red shirt today. There's Jaja. This is what uh, James and Jay got uh, cut and cleared today. Again, we got some more garbage pick, pick up some rocks. There's James over there. So, and we're gonna shovel up all this big dirt here. Uh, seeing it cleared like this gives me a um, decision to make and they're about halfway in the backyard only maybe about halfway they're getting ready to wrap it it's probably be closer to 4 30 moving to 5 so maybe they got another maybe a half hour to work but anyway um 
Maybe I'll get down here in a few minutes and look at it. So back to the PSA. So that, that went relatively easy. We didn't spend all day. It's like we thought. Parking was easy right across the street. Made the guy 100 pesos to watch our truck. Peace of mind. Uh, got in, got out within a half hour. Got uh, his uh, official Philippine Statistical Authority birth certificate. And... Um, What's the other thing? Some kind of starts with an A word. An affidavit. Yeah, the affidavit of live birth. And, and uh, basically, Janice and I taking ownership of said Skylar the Rock. Rock guy. So, I guess that's required here too. So anyway, we have that. So now I can move forward getting his citizenship, uh, born abroad certificate. Getting him his U.S. citizenship in place. And eventually down the road, he's going to be... A dual citizen, uh, so he can enjoy the benefits of both countries and everything. Uh, that's down the road, though. So I did need that PSA, and I also need to apply for some uh, benefits with Social Security. Uh, they gave me my letter back, and they said, uh, "Go ahead and do out the application after I do a change of address, since I'm now living in the Philippines." And I'm going to work this uh, through the. Uh, SSA office in the embassy down in Manila uh, So I got to start that process up here shortly All right, let me w make my way downstairs Okay, and just to prove my point why well, I'm gonna Finish this drain off and dig a trench and everything. There's a puddle right there You see that gathering up and all the sink residue from washing the dishes and stuff is getting there and it's, the bugs are gonna start coming There's another piece of that styrofoam I told him not to mess with. Alright, there's a big step I'm about to take. I'm going to take you with me on it. Let me go over here with this piece of concrete down here I can step on. It's not quite as far. There we go. So this is what they got left. This side of the yard. Ouch. Before I continue talking about uh, birth certificates and stuff. So hopefully tomorrow and the next day they'll get it knocked out. Uh, there's and here's their little, their little sandbox for now they're playing in. Um, hang on just a second. Sabrina, I told you guys not to play with this white styrofoam. And you guys did. Okay, we're going to burn this later. Don't, don't tear it apart. It'll get all over the yard, okay? Okay, fatherly duty done. I told them. But they still did it. Anyway, uh, so here's, here's what we're looking at back here. Get a better look at where they're done here. And this is our wire we're going to put up a lot safer eventually. Electrical wire from the house to the pump house. So, more rocks and stuff, but we'll get it all up once they've finished cutting. So, you can see this end of it, we've got to pick up rocks and garbage and stuff over here, but it looks good. Uh, not much leveling needs to be done here except this mess that uh, he made the other day as he was trying to get through and clean it. Uh, we're going to come back. We're going to touch up and cut small grass areas. It's all said and done. So, I'm looking at it now that it's getting cut. And I can run a mower over most of this. I, I, I Nope, here's his. We'll see once he's finished cutting it. If I bring the Ricky and the bulldozer back or not. We may be able to do this with a couple of flat shovels to come out here. Um, save myself some pesos. It's 1,500 pesos, I can, that's a day's work for two guys uh, with what we're paying these guys here to include their merienda and their ulam and, and the day's wage. Uh, and with some change left over, I could buy me a couple of cervezas. Uh, but here they're just clicking, you see where we're burning over there as we're, as we're cutting. So uh, this is probably two more days work if it's slow going. Uh, so Friday and Saturday, hopefully they should be done. And then we'll see uh, how much. Looks like somebody may have gotten stuck over there too. But we'll see once it's all cut. We'll get it all down. Because you can't tell here. Look at this. You see this? This is what it looks like underneath it. Kind of flat area. I can get a lawnmower over that. Remember this here. We're going to shovel this up. And pile it in here. And after we're done with the yard work, I think I'm going to have them, just for my peace of mind, I may have said this earlier in the video, another video, is come up and start bricking up to 50 centimeters high, just so it's 
firm and official. This was basically just about it. I wasn't expecting this much sand and big rocks and gravel stuff uh, laying around in my yard to fill up this much of it, but it darn near fills up the whole thing. And imagine when we get this shoveled up, there's a septic tank under there for the new subscribers. Uh, I did not want this rock sand stuff here. I just came in from the other house one day and it was, it was here. So I didn't want this here. Uh, you know, we want to grow stuff back here. So anyway, we'll see. Maybe I just need to make a decision whether or not, because right now I'm leaning towards using the guys and the shovels versus the bulldozer, but you never know. Maybe I'll just suck it up and have him come and finish it, level it out as much as a little bit more and just uh, have the other two guys working on something else. But we'll see because, yeah, there's a big pile back over there. But anyway, we're continuing the efforts here of cutting the grass because this morning, I believe I said it in an earlier video, he, he wanted the guys to finish cutting the grass before he came back over and I was thinking maybe I uh, just have a couple guys do it. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I definitely want this, you know, I don't want to keep belaboring the guys on the, so just to get it done quickly, I may just have them come back over uh, and just say, okay, we spent the money, that's good, uh, but it got done quicker because I want to get them on some other projects. Okay, I won't uh, belabor this any longer. You see, I got to still put dirt down here. I want to put dirt after I shovel up some of this more and put actual topsoil down here. Let's put that, say. And for some of the new subscribers, uh, right over here, set, put a concrete foundation, put a roof, uh, like a tin metal roof over here, and pull my truck up under here and stuff. This used to be the carport, but then we said, no, it's kind of a nice sitting area, so that's what we made it, the sitting area. Receiving area, come out, set out, hang out. Enjoy some morning coffee, noon tea, and evening cerveza so we'll see but yeah i got concrete stuff up under here so yeah maybe i'll just have him come out and finish it he's uh still got a little about eight hours and 45 minutes effort if not if it unless it happens sooner but yeah just have him knock it out real fast maybe that's maybe that's what i'll do uh, instead of doing some shovel cuts it's probably a full week's worth of shoveling so i'll probably spend less money with the bulldozer we'll see okay folks i'll stop talking so much but anyway we got the birth certificates i got to move forward with that stuff there and eventually getting in my eventual passport just so you know i'm on an s a special retirement residency retirement visa so skyler can he that covers him as well i just got to pay an additional 300 something dollars uh lifetime for him uh until he's 18 years old so I'm, I don't have to rush to get him a passport once he becomes an American citizen, et cetera, et cetera. It's just something I want to do for him so he has that. Being a U.S. citizen still has value in this world. Uh, you know, and I want him to reap those benefits as well in case he decides to go to the States or stay here. He has a choice. He has that option. Um, anything else I want to say here, Mr. LeRock? Uh, see, no, for now, if anything else, I'll, I'll, I'll add it to a future video. I don't want to make this too long. Um, I am currently working on the bulldozer video. It's like 57 minutes long, trying to figure out ways to shorten it. Or well, who knows, maybe I'll just put it up and you can skim through a lot of the stuff um, and just watch as much as you can because, you know, watch some hours help us. We're up to a whopping 778 subscribers. We've gained... Uh, several, a lot of the subscribers in the last day, or today, I actually gained quite a few since yesterday. I think, I believe eight. But I want to appreciate, uh, uh, send out our appreciation for you guys subscribing and staying subscribed. We've lost a lot of subscribers before because they just came and they were just looking for home build videos. And and uh, once the home build got there, we've we've lost a few of them. Uh, we hopefully you guys stay with us. You know, help us reach our goal of a thousand and more, obviously. But the initial goal is a thousand. So I can, uh, you know, begin to monetize the channel and stuff and have something for Lady Jazz and the children after, you know, I move on to the far horizon. You know, it's, uh, I'm a realist. I'm 62 years old. I'm lucky I got 20 years. I'm hoping I have a lot more. My mom's going to turn 85 years old today. Lost my dad when he turned 70. 
uh, due to cancer uh, back in 2002. So, but as long as I stay cancer free and take better care of my health than I have been in the past, you know, I'll keep up with moms and uh, see what happens. Okay, like I said, uh, I can start washing my truck. I want to kind of get rid of this sand stuff before I start washing my truck here. Uh, the kids are excited to do that. They will be for the first couple of times, and it'll get to be a chore for them, and they'll, they'll be upset. Don't want to help Pops wash it no more, so we'll see. All right, folks. Ciao, bae. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. As always, thank you very much. We appreciate you.